sweeps and all the linear picking and all that stuff that I do. Wow, man, that, that's a lot of fun. Um, the reason I like to, to play guitar so much because I'm an expressive guy. I love expressing myself. You can probably see it in my YouTube videos, how I get kind of animated, my face expressions and my hands and my voice tonality changing and all that stuff. And music for me is just something that appeals to me. It speaks to my heart. It's like my heart is singing through my arms, down my fingers and through my guitar. And you got this wonderful noise coming like that. It's just something else to do to express myself. I love it. The reason I make these vlogs is because I want to express myself. If I just purely wanted to give you guys information, then maybe, maybe I would look like this in my video vlogs and I would sound like this very monotone like and everything would be very structured and sequential and realistic and convenient and, and then you wow you, nobody would make it through my vlogs and that would just be totally boring so there's a lot of heart that goes into all this stuff and speaking of heart and passion and fire and and not always doing what's convenient but uh, going for what's worthwhile versus what's easy going for what's easy over worthwhile sucks toss that out that's not how you're going to um, get past the challenge and conquer uh, problems and find solutions go for worthwhile and uh, you know if you have the the right perspective of a challenge what i believe the right perspective of a challenge which is to make the breakthrough rather than, than break down then you better believe it's going to be all about what's worthwhile and not what's easy and speaking of easy by the way that's a great delusion people have people a lot of people suffer the delusion of whatever is convenient right now Whatever is uh, seems easiest right now is just overall it's going to be easy and things are going to be great right now. But then overall, in the long run, medium run, sometimes even in the short term too, it turns out to be a lot more difficult if you just put off your gratification just maybe for a moment, maybe depending on what it is, a couple years, I don't know. Then you might find that in the long run, it was so worthwhile to just do the work now. Um, the business that I'm in, the, uh, the home-based business. A home-based business is a great example of that. The whole idea with a home-based business is that you work hard for a couple of years doing something that most people just are not willing to do because they don't have the discipline and the guts and the desire and all that stuff. But then, because you put in that couple of years or so of doing things that most people just aren't willing to do, you get to spend the rest of your life doing stuff that nobody gets to do. Is that worthwhile? Heck yeah it is. Is it worthwhile to just take easy right off the bat and just fly by the seat of your pants during that couple years or so and then the rest of your life you're just a uh, slave to the grindstone? No, no it's not. Taking that easy road is the delusion that most people fall prey to because they don't take the time to develop themselves and search for the knowledge, make these discoveries uh, so that they can finally learn how to get what they want and then apply what they've learned so that they get what they want. And a big part of that is delaying some gratification, something our culture has an enormous problem with. Man, most people just want the instant fix right now and in the end, it turns out to be the most difficult thing they've ever done nothing that re resembles anything even remotely close to easy because they didn't have the attention span that lasted longer than a 15 minute goldfish <laughs> maybe that's the problem of a lot of people the attention span I, I don't know I don't know what it is and um, you can't ex speaking of attention span you can't exactly use ADD ADHD and all these other labels as reasons for why you believe you can't get what you want there's plenty of people. In fact, there's a lot of leaders that are perceived to be natural born leaders who have been diagnosed with ADD and have been labeled educably retarded because they had to repeat the first grade or whatever. I repeated the first grade once. I was educably retarded. And look at me now. You know, I'm financially free and financially independent. I make these crazy video vlogs that apparently offend some people and move other people to change their lives. It's just incredible. So um, I'm telling you, man, that, that's another example of uh, perspective. You know, you've got this label that somebody has given you or maybe you've given it yourself. So, so what are you going to do about that? How are you going to respond to that? It's not what happens to you or the labels that you're given. It's what you do about what happens to you. You can't ch uh, necessarily change the facts of a scenario, right? 
But um, what are, how are you going to respond to those facts of a scenario that you have no control over? Are you going to use those facts as an excuse as to why you can't get what you want? Or are you going to use those facts as an excuse why you must get what you want? So you just keep on lining up those excuses. All you need is one and you'll fail. Or if your perspective is the other, keep lining up all those excuses. All you need is one good one, a perfect reason why you must do it, and you'll succeed. And those labels too, man. You're right. I don't know you. I can't judge you. That's why I don't judge anybody. I also don't judge because I don't want to be judged. But you're right. I don't know you. So how long you want to stay there? Whatever's going on, whatever label you've given yourself or somebody else has given you, I don't know you. But how long you want to stay there? When do you want to start growing? Now or later? When do you want to grow from wherever it is that you've been planted? Are you broke? Are you chronically diseased by lifestyle? Are you chronically diseased by something you have no control over? What are you going to do about what's happened to you? What are you going to do about not only what's happened to you that you have no control over, but what about the mistakes that you've made in your past? What are you going to do about those for today and tomorrow? It's all about how you respond to that. That's how you design the life of your dreams. You live by design or you live by default. What's your perspective on that? Are you going to live by design or are you going to live by default? And if you're living by default already, are you going to get a new perspective now? Maybe start living by design. Start that change today. I hope so. It's worth it. Put off some gratification. People that go for the instant gratification, they live empty, despairing lives, quiet lives of disparity. It's not good. And most people do that. And one last philosophy I will give you. You've heard this before if you watch my other video vlogs. Odds are, anyway, you've heard this. Find out what most people are doing and run the other direction. Do the complete opposite. 98% of the country of the people in this country end up either dead or dead broke by the ages of 62 to 65 depending on their friends, family, and the federal government as their main source of income. 98%. Wow. So those other 2%, you know, you want to find out what they're doing, what they believe in, and let them sell you on what they're doing. Don't let the 98% sell you on what they're doing. Don't follow them. Don't speak like they speak. Don't specialize in what they specialize in, to quote Jim Rohn. Don't do what they do. Don't believe what they believe. And don't let them sell you on their garbage. And if you're part of that 98%, you can make that switch over. Man, <laughs> you don't have to stay there. It's available to anybody. Um, you know, the percentages, there's always going to be a 98% versus a 2%. And that's not even the bigger picture. The bigger picture and the most important thing is... Um, that you just constantly become the best you that you can possibly be. You have a potential of greatness. Everybody does. I believe in everybody, but I trust in very few people because very few people are actually going to go for it and design the life of their dreams and not cheat themselves or the God of their choosing on their potential. Most people will cheat themselves on their potential. That's not, that's not good. So don't do that. And your validation proof positive that you don't want to cheat yourself out on your own potential is the fact that most people are. And you want to do the complete opposite of what most people are doing. If you do what they do, you're going to have what they have. You'll be either dead or dead broke by the age of 62 to 65, depending on friends, family, and the federal government for the main source of your income. And you'll probably have multiple chronic diseases brought on by lifestyle choice because that's what most people have. So don't do what they do. Don't buy the food and eat the food that they eat. <laughs> that's, that's a big one right there. You can solve all your health problems probably if you just don't eat the same kind of food that everyone else is eating. Wow. <laughs> you can really hit a lot of burns with, with, uh, with one stone on that one. You, you really can. So um, to close this up, um, if you want to know more about what I'm doing or more about me or you got questions, um, hit me up. Just connect with me privately. I am not going to try to sell you on my home-based business. But if you want to know about it, We'll ask each other some questions. If this thing turns you on and you've decided that you want to grow a home-based business for yourself, for your reasons that are personal to you, and learn how to do it from somebody who's already done it, that's important. Find out who has what you want and do what they do. Learn from them. If that's what you want to do, then, you know, so long as you can check 
maybe an ego that you might have at the door. If you have an ego, you've got to check that at the door. And number two, you just got to follow directions. That's important. And we'll work together. And we will start seeing your goals. And it'll be a good thing. It'll be a very good thing. It'll be worthwhile versus going for easy. It's going to be work, but it'll be worthwhile. And I'll have you do it in your spare time because I realize most people have jobs and families and you don't have a lot of spare time. But whatever spare time you have, we will make it work so long as there's no ego getting in the way and you follow directions. And if this isn't for you, what I'm doing, then just promise yourself you'll never give up and you keep on looking for whatever it is that you got to find to get what you want. That's what I want you to do ultimately. And when you do find what it is that you want and you get what you want and you have all the success, even if it's not with me and what I'm doing, I'd still love to hear about it. I brag about people all the time who are doing really good. People that score victories over tough challenges. People that maybe came out of poverty and grew up in a welfare family who's now financially free and independent and giving back and paying it forward. I brag about people all the time, even if it's, uh, it's nothing to do with my own business. I just, I love that kind of stuff. And uh, I want to see that kind of thing happen for you too. The world will be better off if you rise up Take care of yourself and serve others. The world will be better off. More people need to step up and do that. So let's do that. That's my, that's my, that's my closing. It's my closing note. Let's rise up, step up in a world that desperately needs more people who are willing to grow into strong, powerful, influential leaders that want to serve. Let's do that. Take care.